Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what happens to the properties of the fractions of crude oil as we go from the top to the bottom of the fractionating column. Right, you should know that the temperature at the bottom of the fractionating column is high and at the top of the column it's low. What you also need to know is what happens to the type of hydrocarbon, the viscosity, the boiling point and the ease of ignition as we go from the top of the column to the bottom. If we start off with chain length then, which is effectively the size of the molecule, at the top of the column the hydrocarbons have short chain lengths which means they have few carbon atoms and few hydrogen atoms. Down at the bottom of the column we have a lot of hydrogen and carbon atoms and it's a long chained hydrocarbon. Therefore as you go up the fractionating column the chain length and the number of carbons and hydrogens decreases. The second property you need to know about is the ease of ignition. Now the easy way to think of this is at the bottom of the column we have our roads which is made from bitumen. If you throw a match on it it's not going to ignite is it? So they are hard to ignite. Whereas at the top we have our gases, our gas hob as you have in your home, you put a match to that and it will set on fire so it ignites easily. Therefore as you go up the fractionating column it becomes easier to ignite. The third property we're going to have a look at is the boiling points. This one's fairly straightforward. If we've got a high temperature at the bottom, it means it's going to have a high boiling point. And if we have a low temperature at the top, it's going to have a low boiling point. Therefore, as you go up the fractionating column, the boiling points decrease. And the final property we're going to have a look at is viscosity, which is a measure of how thick or runny a liquid is. So if we start down at the bottom with bitumen, it's a nice thick liquid. We surface the roads with it. Therefore, it's highly viscous which you can see from the video on the right hand side. Petrol on the other hand is nice and runny so we say that's less viscous. Again you can see on the video on the right it's flowing nice and easily therefore we class it as less viscous. Therefore our property is the viscosity decreases as you go up the fractionating column. So those are the four properties you need to be able to remember then. The viscosity, the ease of ignition, the boiling point and the chain length. So let's see what the examiner can ask. So I've got a question here saying look at the diagram of a fractional distillation column below. Describe the difference in the properties of kerosene and fuel oil. Describe the difference in the properties of kerosene and fuel oil. So what you need to do in this situation. You've got kerosene here and you've got fuel oil here. So the first thing you need to think is which one's at the top, which one's at the bottom. Kerosene's at the top. So is that going to have a higher boiling point or lower boiling point? Is it going to be more or less viscous? If you can't remember viscous, is it going to flow easily? Is it not? Is it going to have a high or low chain length? And so on. So have a think, put something down on paper and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So describe the difference in the properties of kerosene and fuel oil. So you can have both arguments here. So you can talk in terms of kerosene or you can talk in terms of fuel oil. So if we start off with the chain length, kerosene has the smallest chain length or you could have said fuel oil has the largest chain length. Boiling points, kerosene has a lower boiling point because it's nearer the top or fuel oil has the highest boiling point. And then ease of ignition, kerosene is easier to ignite, fuel oil is harder to ignite. Again, either of those would have got you the third mark. And then finally, it's your viscosity, which is going to be the least viscous, the runniest, the one at the top, therefore kerosene. So kerosene is less viscous, or if you couldn't remember the word viscous, it flows easily. And then fuel oil is the opposite of that, it's more viscous, or it flows less easily. And that's really all you need to be able to remember. So they can throw all these different fuels at you. As long as you can remember this one's at the top, this one's at the bottom. And what the properties are like at the top, the bottom's going to be the opposite. So let's have a look at the review question, which is describe what happens to the properties of the hydrocarbons in crude oil as you go from the top to the bottom of the fractionating column. Again, what happens to viscosity, chain length, boiling point and ease of ignition. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.